Hello and welcome back to Aeron's World. Well, today we're going to head up to the Cloud Spawner and implement the item sorting that we worked out in the last episode. Um, and in case you're wondering, hello puppy, this here is the puppy, the one from the cost server. Um, seeing as I spend most of my time here, I thought it best to bring him back with me. Come on, we're going to go for a little walk up to the Cloud Spawner. If I can work out how to get uh, get you through all this stuff. Come on. Now, unfortunately, they won't spontaneously follow you through portals. But if you make them sit, I think you can push them through. And hopefully nothing bad will happen to him. So we pop him through the spawner. Go through ourselves. And now he can follow us over here. Come on. We're going through this one, to the Cloud Spawner. Right. Oh no, you're not going to be able to climb up the ladder, are you? Hmm. Okay, I'm afraid you're going to have to stay here, because I just realised that the top... This thing does not lead uh, lead, uh, lead anywhere safe. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I remembered in time. I mean, look, <laughs> he'd have come out here. There's no safety railings or, or nothing, and unfortunately... He's not going to be able to follow me up this way. Okay, he'd probably be able to magically teleport himself up. But I'm going to have to put safety railings around here. I've been meaning to build out this base anyway. I mean, this is silly. It's like, you know, this is not a proper building at the moment. It's, it's just been a temporary thing that I kept thinking that I would um, repair. Okay, so here we are. Um, as you can see at the moment, I've just been having them drop down onto the obsidian. The first thing I want to do is disable this in some way, because otherwise they're just going to keep falling on me. And I don't want creepers exploding. So I've got to, hmm, got to try and work out if there's any safe way of disabling this. I'm not sure there is. I think if I just dig out the floor and put the hoppers in and then close up this I don't I don't have the obsidian on me at the moment but but I will do once I dig out the floor hey that's thinking that's using my noggin Okay, so this is where the chests are going to end up. So I think there's enough room here. One, two, three, four. Hmm. There is a lower floor. The basement area. So if necessary, the wiring can extend down a bit. I think the mobs will just keep landing and dying perfectly safely as we work on this. So, I'm going to want all the items to end up in a hopper. Now, considering that that's a way down, and that's the way up, and that's my emergency... Well, okay, I've got ladders on both sides, haven't I? Hmm. I think I want all the items to end up in... Oh, I wanted that to point downwards. Okay, so, but I'm going to want them all to end up in that hopper there, so I'll position it from above. <laughs> he died and made a moaning noise at the same time. Right, so I want them all to to end up pointing into that one. I think I want this at that level. So that one will go into that one, that one will go into there, that one will go into there. The... I don't like being near them when they sizzle. I know they're dying, but still. Right, so we'll just... So 
So if I drop an item in like a bit of redstone, it should end up where we expect it to end up. Now, there are torches already in the bottom there. Whoa, he survived! Because he's wearing armour. Hmm, interesting. Interesting conundrum. Do I have a sword? I do. Let me just get a bit of distance. I need to think about that, don't I? Um, if they fall down wearing armour, they take less damage, and then they don't die. Um, what if there was some lava? What I might need is a kill mechanism. Something which will let me come along and go kill. And then it will just flood it with a bit of lava. Just in case there are people wandering around in there. I'll work on that later. For now, let's close that up so at least we're safe. Look at all these drops. Okay. Yep, so the redstone made it in there, as is all this other stuff. Hmm. I'm actually probably going to want that heading pointing in this direction, so that will be my array of hoppers, and then it will drop drop down into a miscellaneous chest at the end. Not that I should get any miscellaneous. So, how many types of mob drop are there? Um, I think I've got. I think I've been messing with most of them anyway. I think I've got them all on me. <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff on me. Let's actually get rid of the mob drops. So, there's gunpowder. There are arrows. There is rotten flesh. The occasional music disc. Am I going to have to sort for music discs? I think they can They can go, go to the miscellaneous chest. I don't get spiders. Well, it looks like we sometimes get bows. I think it is just just these three and then a miscellaneous chest, isn't it? Oh, and bones, of course. Might need some... Okay, I've got more gunpowder there. I was thinking that I could get the five in with gaps in between, but... Well, if the very first one is here... It's not going to look that good, though, is it? I think this rear one just needs to be all the way back. That seems better. That way there's a bit of gap around the escape hatch. And so on. So that will be the miscellaneous chests, and these will take the sorting to the rest of them. Gonna need a lot more hoppers. Luckily, I have an almost infinite supply of iron. So I just need to... Um, I'll set up the basic hoppers, and then we can start on the circuitry. Okay, I went back and forth on the exact positioning of this a bit, um, and finally settled on this. Um, it, they're more or less where they were before, except I've shoved them that way a little bit. Um, and I'm now extracting down from that corner one as opposed to that one there. So as you can see, I've got these set up as I had them before. Um, the hopper that leads straight into the chest is the one we're going to lock. So, um, But we're reading um, our signal from the hopper above it, which is the one that's pointing off to the side. 
So a uh, signal comes out, redstone torch goes in, locks it there. So I can start setting these things up with um, with the items that you know that they need in order to lock themselves. So uh, do that, and then this is eighteen, I believe. Let's give that one a quick test, and something's wrong. But this is why we test. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Easy mistake to make. Any gibbering half-witted person would have made it. I forgot to put the redstone actually on top. There we go. Oops, missed. And fallen. I did all the other stuff. So we should have that one bit of arrow, uh, one bone <laughs> arrow, force of habit, waiting there, and those ones there. So, that's bones, and I'm going to put um, item frames on, identifying what's in them. So I've done the bones. So this one can be arrows. Eighteen. Quick test. Yep. So that's the bones and the arrows. So we've got the gunpowder and the rotten flesh still to go. Gunpowder. 18 is stable. Yep, that's fine. Fifteen, eighteen, nineteen. 19. Okay, and this is going to be our miscellaneous chest. So now what I've got to do is actually hook them all together. And obviously I want I want it all to end up here. So that one wants to point down like that. And then these ones all point sideways. So they'll fall down if they can. Otherwise the item should end up right at the end. And the moment I... Let me just check. All these are empty. So the moment I put these last two in, that one goes there, and then that one goes there. Straight away, I would hope... Okay, we're getting that, that again, and I don't understand why that sometimes happens. Hmm. Well, that's at 18 properly. It's got arrows in. Maybe if I do put the additional... We're obviously ending up with a bit of a cycling circuit. And I'm not quite sure why. Maybe if I put an additional repeater on each one. Do I have the items to let me do that? Um, got smooth stone, got that. I need an additional four repeaters. Well, I needed an additional two, but I'm using four. So I'm going to try that. just to see if that stops the cycling thing from happening. 18... 18... I mean, eventually they'd fill back up to the 18 anyway, just from the mob drops. Okay. Let me just test this still works. Yes. That's better. Saw so the torch at the end turn off, turn back on again. But they are just flashing and then no longer cycling. Okay, so 
Um, a refinement to the design. The power down there must be somehow looping back up there if you don't put two repeaters down. But that has bones, that has arrows, that has gunpowder, that has a rotten flesh, that has nothing. Let's just test the nothing line. If we just manually um, throw a little bit of dirt in. That should all end up over here. There it goes. So that will pick up any bows, bits of armor, whatever that people may drop. Records, if you happen to get two creepers fall down at the same time. I mean, not two creepers, a creeper and a skeleton. Sometimes they annoy each other on the way down and start shooting. So... There we go. That's um, that's that done. A lot quicker than I expected to, actually. So I'm going to have to think of something else to do. I might go grind for some um, quartz so I can start work on the tower that I want out, out the back of that building. The roof doesn't look as good from this angle. Um, I mean, it might actually look better if it didn't have any skylights and was just a flat roof. Hmm. So this thing doesn't get the rates that it used to. If I go F3 for a moment. Um, most of those entities are... Experience has shown... I mean, there shouldn't be anything on the ground. We're, we're high enough that nothing down there can spawn, and yet we have a bit of an entity count off in this direction. Some of it I know is these minecarts, I think, count as entities. See, that there I'm seeing fif 15, but if I just look up beyond the minecarts, it drops. So there's only 21 above me. That could be that they've been making these changes, like you get less spawns as time goes on, or... But if necessary, I can just AFK here, you know, if I'm in need of gunpowder, which is the the main reason I wanted this. So I see, I mean, you're primarily sorting the bones and everything out, because what you really want is the gunpowder. So, simple item sorting system on a mob spawner. And by spacing them out, you do save so much hassle with the redstone. So unless you really, really want to compact your stuff down, I'd recommend doing this. Yeah, I thought maybe um, most of the mobs that had spawned up there, that their idle timer had been activated. In general, they um, spawn on very small platforms, so if they take a single step in any direction, they'll end up down here. But occasionally, they all sort of... Um, they time out, because uh, a mob that's a certain distance away from a player will stop moving after a while. So just by climbing this ladder and getting close enough to them, they all start moving around, and it increases the um, drop yeah. rates again. So, on to other things.